So how are you doing this week, Tara? Doing all right. Um, Dan got a chomp in from my little sir there. Can you show them? Can you do a high kick? Can you do a high kick for everybody? Oh, they didn't get it high enough. Ah, ooh, that is, yeah, it's my boy. Why did he? He hasn't bit anybody in like almost a year. So but what? somebody said like homecoming train car seven, and he just went all ginger soldier. <laughs> yeah. It they, they have an ongoing problem where Simba doesn't like it when we're in the kitchen. So if one of us is in the kitchen, I don't know, he's met, he could, if I'm in the kitchen, he runs over to the drawer where he knows his treats are and yells at me about treats. Uh huh. If Dan's in the kitchen, he just follows him around and yells at him in general and gets underfoot and, you know, and this particular day, so Dan usually yells at him to get out of the kitchen and usually he does. This particular day, Dan picked him up and removed him from the kitchen and then he kind of walked away too fast and... Simba's bite trigger was always like stuck in front of his face. Like if you move too fast in front of his face, that's when he would snap. And I, and he just kind of wrapped himself around Dan's leg. And then immediately was sorry. Yeah. And then like, he realized, like, he doesn't mean it. He realizes what he did. And then he's just like, Oh my God, I'm sorry. And he's rubbing on you and head butting you and looking sad. Like, is he really, totally like or a, is he just lulling you into a false sense? No, of it, it, it's, it's a, it's a fear response with him. So like he just like night freaks out and goes all Bucky Barnes and he's like, ah, night I killed people again. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, yo. Yeah, that's really what it is. Like I'm sure he was abused at some point. Oh, so like Dan had happen. to come and wake me up because he just had blood running down his leg. <laughs> he's like, I, I need your help. <laughs> And then Simba was sitting behind him, like, giving me the big eyes, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sunday was a bit of a day around here. No, I've I've been uh, just dealing with with uh, past tax taxes got, and then everything, every single thing started breaking. Um, Don't you love that? It just it's like a ripple effect. The chair broke. Got a roof issue on my porch. The AC in my truck is dead. My monitor is about to die. Just everything after, like, why? What did I do? Who did I have blaspheme? You, have you wronged any witches lately? I don't see how. I haven't seen anybody. I don't leave the night in the house. Kiss off the Fae. Yeah, have you taken any gifts from the Fae? <laughs> I haven't seen anybody! I don't leave the house! Well, that doesn't mean you couldn't have pissed off the Fae. Like, have you cut down any big plants in your yard? Because that would make the Fae mad. <laughs> Alright, well, as I hinted at earlier uh, on the live bit, um, we're going to see something this week that we have never seen before. And That's impressive. It is, and I don't. I'm like, what? The, the show sometimes really lives up to its name. I mean, really, really, and we're we're gonna have that. That's 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 coming up. We have some other, of course, terrible, stupid stories. We we are getting as we get deeper into it. We are getting a lot more human malware. Ooh, la la. Sadly, there's a lot of bull. Nine. It's. It, it, I think it's as they feel like they're losing, they're getting worse. Yeah. So let's get started. Get the intro going here. The buttons. Too many buttons. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide <laughs> interwebs, find all sorts of uh, horrible stuff. We'll say we went call. What the fuck is wrong with you? And uh, let's let's kick off this week. Everyone saw this, but damn, this this was everywhere for a few days. Um, speaking of the human malware meltdowns, of which we keep having them. <laughs> I don't even really need to set this up so much. We just keep dealing seeing it. 
Uh, father <laughs> carry son carries father out of grocery store after he says human malware is fake during anti-mask rant. Oh, is this in New York? Oh, it's in Arizona. Okay. Yeah. Let's 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 I, we, we of course there is there's fucking video. Of course there let, let, let let's play some, shall we? Let's have a look here. Um and it is of course the older white dude yelling his butt off. Um anti-masker. We had anti-vaxer, now we have anti-masker. They do overlap. Yeah, they do. A lot. A maskless man engaged over a rule, enraged over a rule requiring he wear a face covering, one of many new guidelines implemented to better slow the spread of the malware, was carried out of an Arizona, there he goes, carried out of an Arizona grocery store by his son. Just picks him up and walks him out. And he's still yelling like he's a big fucking tough guy. Like he's not being physically removed by his own offspring. The best description in that in that whole article is the who article or some of the tweets from the kid was that he was picked up and carried off like a lamp box. <laughs> yeah, um uh looks like you fucking got it off your mom's countertop, the man tells one employee what does that of, even of his mean? mask. I, I don't know. Um at one point another man, the this one sporting a face covering, approaches the ranting customer. Quote, show me how tough you are. I'll beat that fucking mask off your face. Fucking pussies. You're all a bunch of pussies wearing masks. He says this after his own son picks him up and takes him out. He's like, you. we've all seen that dude who's like, hold me back, hold me back. And there's nobody yeah. holding him back. So he's like, doesn't know what to, he's like, still like, uh, the question is, are they is all it? a bunch of wet-ass pussies? Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, if so, we need to call Ben Shapiro. Oh, that was that was an own for the generations, I have to tell you. What? No, the, what this is coming down to is we're finally, more people are getting it through their heads that they don't want to die. And it's the the whole uh, maybe we should wear masks sort of drifting this way. But those dieharders are like, what's yeah, happening? Every single, every single day I see a story about somebody who didn't believe in COVID until they got it. And then they're like, no, I was wrong. We really have to take this seriously. And I'm like, are we supposed to feel bad for you? You know how many other people you probably made sick? With your dumb ass. And they're all, I, I think what they're angry about is the, 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 the opinion is like they don't have everyone having their back anymore. Yeah, they don't have they're not having marches anymore. They're not up and shouting at cops faces on state houses anymore. <laughs> they don't like th this all comes. Good. This all comes down to the fact they don't like feeling like they're wrong. Which all is over. Putting a fucking piece of cloth on your face. I was just thinking, how many of these people typically will just, without thinking about it, hold a door open for somebody else? Goes, You're going out of your way. You're doing something for somebody. You're not getting anything out of it. But you do it. That's not a problem. Where these are the are people, though, that if they don't hear you thank them, they're like, you're welcome. Yeah, that's because true. Because they do want something out of it. That's true. Well, we had oh, this we got even more. This is this isn't that. This is a, our normal stupid and privileged bullshit. I hate this mugshot. I hate all. Just just looking at this mugshot makes me angry. I hate this one. Um, Mount Juliet woman mad about car wash vacuum waves gun at juvenile employee, and I hate that. Look at that fucking mugshot. Yay, I'm getting my picture taken. I got away with this because I'm a white lady. Mount Juliet, Tennessee. A woman shoved a juvenile employee at a Mount Juliet car wash and waved a gun around after workers refused to turn on the vacuums at closing time. Of course. The incident happened at 7.45 p.m. 
at Mr. Car Wash, the uh, warrant states Jessica Simpson, 35. Really? Jessica <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate naming. They're confronted two employees about the business's vacuums being cut off. One employee reportedly told Simpson they were closing, so they'd not be able to turn on the equipment. At that point, that's just unfortunate. That's like, well, shit. You shut up at closing time. Sucks to be you. You can Try grumble. You can grumble about it. And be like, man, fuck. But I have never once in all my years of retail found a customer who rolls into closing time and when you tell them they're closing, it's like, oh, man, that sucks for me. I should go. No. no they always throw a fucking fit. The paperwork alleges Simpson became very hostile, using profanity and threatening the employees when refusing to leave. At one point, police said Simpson shoved a juvenile employee, then reached into her vehicle and waved her gun around. It, oh, this is better. After the incident, police said Simpson drove away, where she was stopped by officers on the other side of the interstate. Police say Simpson denied pulling the gun. Why, I didn't do nothing. But surveillance video showed her waving the weapon around prior to driving off. A gun was located under the passenger seat during a search. If you're in public, you're on camera. It's just the way the world is now. If you're in a public place, there's a camera on you. Act accordingly. The fucking audacity of this fucking lady. To be like, what? No, I didn't. I didn't do that. I would never do that. I'm a nice person. Yeah, I, I would, would never. Look at me. Fucking. Do you, this is a shit like this is like, man, we got to rethink guns in this fucking country. We seriously do. The NRA today was like, Joe Biden's going to wreck the Second Amendment. And I'm like, fuck, I hope so. Well, the NRA is already, they fucked, I mean, the NRA you know, kind of did it to themselves. Let's be perfect. Yeah. Oh, Wayne DePere. Boy, maybe you shouldn't hire it's grifters. Oliver to North. Y'all brought in Oliver North. You know what's truly fucked up? Oliver North was technically on the, in the right on that whole situation. He was the whistleblower. That's, that's, that's almost like, wait a minute. That the kids aren't young enough, aren't old enough to remember Oliver North. So they're like, what's the deal with Oliver North? Just Google Iran Contra affair. I okay, all right. Just just to wrap your head around the delicious irony here. He was pardoned by the president after the Iran Contra. Was that Reagan or Bush? One of them. That was one of them. Okay. One of them. Had he gone to jail, he never would have been made part of the NRA. And thus, he never could have blown the whistle. And the NRA wouldn't be facing dissolution. Everything happens for a reason. Ronald Reagan killed the NRA. <laughs> Ronald fucking Reagan killed oh. the NRA. I never thought about it that way either. Because if, if they had never hired Oliver North, none of this would have happened. If he'd gone to jail, they never would have fucking hired him. But oh no. <laughs> you played yourself. It took a few decades, but you played yourself. We need we need a DJ Khaled, but congratulations, you played yourself. Ah, uh, so <laughs> everybody in the channel's like, holy shit, he's right. It was Bush. Oh, it was Bush who pardoned him. So this this is George Bush. Well, that's still that's still Reagan. Reagan nominated Bush, so it all yeah, goes back to Ronald Bush Reagan. Reagan. Bush was Reagan's VP, so yeah, it all goes back to Ronald Reagan. All right, uh, more with the fucking malware. I don't. I do not fucking understand what happened here at all. This. Man upset when offered free mask at Highland Park Liquor Store leaves $1,000 in damages. The owner of Azo Liquor Store in Highland Park says a man created a mess inside his store when he got turned away for not wearing a mask. And that customer services are face coverings are becoming more and more common. Yep. A sign saying no mask, no service is taped up in several places inside the store, but a man still came inside without one Sunday afternoon. 
Um, you see a particular customer on the surveillance video using a plastic bag held up to his mouth as a makeshift mask. That's not... But it wasn't doing its job. Okay, so the owner offered him a free one. Now that, okay. The, that is obviously the dude's just like, hey, you want to hang out here? Have a mask. There you go. Keep it. Congrats. Have a happy day. Apparently, that set the customer off. What? What? Wait, what? what? The man tried getting behind the counter, but the door was locked. Then you can see him on surveillance video outside on a bicycle, picking up a brick and throwing at a window twice. It was repaired with a $1,000 price tag. Owner of the store didn't want to go on camera. What? So you didn't get your booze. No. And now you're going to face criminal charges. Yep. What have we fucking accomplished today? Here, have a free mask. Fuck you! What? What? Just... And a lot of stores are doing that because our entire retail model is based on being fucking subservient. Yeah. So a lot of places are buying the little paper masks and giving them out for free. This is, this is kind of like giving people free underwear, you know? They won't come, like, people won't come in the store wearing pants. You're like, oh, God, please cover that up here. <laughs> okay. It's about, like, it's the same. like paper underwear? Probably, because, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's more cost effective, but please put this on. I don't have to. Nope. I'm telling you, fucking zombie apocalypse, these people are going to be out protesting their right to get banned. What, Dan, what, what is Dan doing? I know what Dan's doing. We made it as a joke. <laughs> Because can you not see this sign when the zombies rise? I'm an American! Yeah. Zombie on lives matter! It's... <sighs> yeah. Well, we have, we have our more standard naked and weird. And it's Florida, of course. I'm trying... This is this, we're, we are definitely in. If it wasn't for my horse territory with it with this headline, um, Florida man playing basketball naked thought it would improve his skills. I'm I'm gonna that say would, that what that improve his skills. I'm gonna say that again. Florida man playing basketball naked thought it would improve his skills. I don't I don't understand. Jordan Anderson accused of playing basketball uh basketball basketball <laughs> naked at a park told police he thought it would help him improve his skills. Uh, Florida man was arrested around 7:30 p.m. Sunday and charged with indecent exposure. Along with police said officers responded to Candyland Park for a report of a naked man walking around. It's an unfortunate name given the circumstance. Kind of is. When they got there, officers said they found the 29-year-old man in full glory. <laughs> That's in the article. He allegedly told officers he thought he could get better at the game if he practiced naked. Okay. All right. Um, Let's put aside the fact that, you know, at your own, please do it in your own privacy, not in the park. How does playing naked help you play basketball better? Because I would think having your dick flapping around and a bouncing ball, potentially just like... Three three bouncing balls, really. Yeah. Having... <laughs> having you got it. <laughs> You're going to get Spalding stamped on your dick, is what I'm yeah. saying. Maybe that was the idea to help him, what's it called, traveling? When you hold the <laughs> ball and run, you're not supposed to dribble too close to your body. Maybe he was just working on the fundies, you know? 
You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. I don't I don't understand. It's Yeah, I don't uh I don't really understand the correlation there. So I mean just taking it on face value. This is the, the it's not making a whole lot of sense. I'm trying. I am racking my brain trying yeah, to figure I out. I how, got nothing. But let's take it not at face value and assume this, we, this dude just wanted to fuck around naked at the park. No, I was playing basketball. Trying to I feel like my, maybe he jump. was working on his layup. <laughs> I don't even know if that pun works, if we're being honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, um, at the park, like... That's some kind of Chester Molester territory for me. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Anytime it, you're naked where kids are playing. Not, not good. When I was a kid, we had a guy who ran against my aunt for the school board because my aunt spent a lot of years on the town school board. Okay. And this guy ran against her and he lost. And I don't remember if it was after or during the campaign. He was found like naked bathing in a stream in the woods behind my uncle's house. <sighs> he didn't run for the school board again. <laughs> How do you always have a fucking story? <laughs> <sighs> and I think my, I, I always figure my life's been pretty boring, but I guess not. Um, our next one is, uh, I, I respect spite at times. Spite is a powerful force. You, you can get a lot of shit done just for the sake of spite. However, you gotta use it carefully. You got constructively. It's, it's, it's not a toy. Spite is not a toy. And, uh, I don't think you thought this one through. Man breaks into city jail after being released, sneaks into closed courtroom. Quote, he told police, he told one of the officers, this wasn't over. Oh, honey. Honey, no. Man released by Universal City Police from the city jail, allegedly returned and managed to sneak into a closed courtroom. Universal City Police Detective Anthony Travis said eh, Andre Madrigal, 29, was arrested on minor warrants and released from their custody on Saturday, but made threats to officers. He told one of the officers this wasn't over. On Monday, police were called to City Hall, where there was evidence of a break-in. Surveillance video showed officers that Madrigal had allegedly been up to after he was released from jail. He hid in the men's restroom, where he somehow crawled in the ceiling and made it into the closed courtroom. There were tiles hanging down, according to the arrest affidavit. Madrigal, man, you get okay. This, this is I've worked IT. That's my profession. Before I was doing this, and this, this is like the bane of every IT worker. Every single IT worker is going to hear this, and they're going to be like, "Yep." According to the arrest affidavit, Madrigal managed to get into the court's computer system because the password was under the keyboard. You, you know who you are. You work in the court building. It doesn't matter where you work. There's always at least, and it wasn't just one person, there's five people in any given office, at least five people who do this shit. And they I just are, watched Spider-Man Far From Home the other day and like, what's your password? Password. You're the head of security. Just try and, try and, try being an IT deal with people in an office. I can't. I just make you know. yeah. Police say video shows Magical walking out of the building Sunday morning. The affidavit said his distinct red shoes and a pair of scissors from inside the courtroom were found behind the fire department. Police attempted to arrest him at his home. They say he tried to elude them. <clears throat> inside his house, he hit a bunch of different places. We cleared the residence a couple of times and he ends up in an area we've checked over and over. So he's fucking playing hide and seek with the cops. What was the plan? Like he broke into the courthouse for what? 
This isn't over. You checked your email, stole some scissors, and went home? Nothing is over! <laughs> what was the reason? <laughs> I, I just went to Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. Uh, this whole thing is just like, what? And then what? you left your shoes there? Look, you got out of jail! For yeah. the moment, you win. Yeah, <clears throat> that that is all right. Look, there is only one objective to jail, and that is to not be liable to be in jail. Yeah, when they say you can go, you win. That's you've won jail. That's the win condition. You don't just be like, no, 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 no. I want a do over. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I do love that they went to his house and he, they had to. <laughs> he was just hiding. And they kept having to clear the place because he kept hiding from. <laughs> this guy's just making their day miserable. <laughs> Which, you know, bless him for that. Bless him for making the cops' lives miserable for an afternoon. <laughs> what the fuck were you thinking? Oh. Upgrades to the city's building security <clears throat> will be made. Well, good. Also, like, the court building was going to open again. Why did you have to sneak in while it was closed? Yeah, they're going to upgrade security. Instead of putting the passwords under the keyboards, they're going to put it behind the monitor. So. Yeah. We'll post it right on the back of the monitor. Much more secure. All right, folks, this last story. Um, everyone clench. Just prepare yourself this one is in all my years we've never seen this and this is youtube's fault because or actually this is streaming's fault so i guess this could be twitch or youtube pick one this is a game streaming problem this is a gamer problem i i do not know what the what the okay yeah i haven't had to, to i'm intrigued what the fuck is wrong with you? Why? South Korean YouTuber sets private parts on fire during gaming live stream gets second degree burn. Look at this picture. I ain't playing the video. The picture. I guess I'm <clears throat> on. Shintai Il. Uh, Il? Is it Il or Il? Ill. 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 Thank you. Ill. <laughs> Real ill. Shintai Ill, also known as the infamous angry Korean gamer. It's always the fucking angry one. Set his crotch area on fire as a penalty for losing a falls guy a fall guys game following suggestions of his viewers. The deal was him to, was for him to set his private parts on fire for five seconds if he did not come in first place for a particular round. So he did. But wait. On his first attempt, the gamer set the lighter fluid on fire, causing him to scream and jump in pain. Unfortunately, the whole ordeal only lasted for three seconds. Falling a little short of the imposed penalty, Tail then began pouring more lighter fluid on his crotch, reset his timer to properly accept the penalty. On his second try, which was also the last, he again fell short of the required five seconds, but for completely understandable reasons, viewers saw Tail scream in pain once again after his crotch area was enveloped in a relatively larger fire which also burns some of the hairs on his stomach. Tyler, who was in visible agony, spent some, quite some time sitting on the floor off camera and then sat on the chair while holding his body what appeared to be a cold compress before he ended the live stream. See, this is why we don't let y'all decide shit. Let exactly. No. <clears throat> y'all are never voting on shit. This yeah. is why. Because the public can't be trusted. This is how we got Bodie McBoatface. 
This is how the New York Mets got rickrolled at their own game because they let the fucking internet pick their eighth inning sing-along. You can't let the public decide shit for you because they do not have your best interests at heart. No. No. I is. I I just. I don't understand accepting these terms. Yeah, I, I mean, it's like if someone if I'm playing a video game and someone's like, hey, you don't do this. Um, take a hammer to your nuts. My first impulse is, is not going to be, OK, how many strikes should it be? No. That's not my first. That's not my first goal. It's going to be like, fuck you. And I don't care how confident I am in my skill at the thing. I don't care. I don't care if it's something I absolutely know I can do. The world is a fucking chaotic place. So no. No, I got this. What? I got this. Like I can totally handle this. Wait, what? Oh. Um, no. Oh. Set your crotch on second degree burns on your dick. That thing's never going to work right again. <laughs> you got to like, go. Up in flames is the most up you're getting. You got to go to the fucking ER and explain to the doctor what happened? And you know what would be the, the less embarrassing story would be? I fucked a toaster oven. Mm -hmm. That would be the less embarrassing story. Well, my fans told me to set my crotch on fire, but I didn't make the time limit, so I had to do it twice. <laughs> That's the part that kills me. He's like, wait, no, well, I gotta do it over again. Reset the timer. Just imagine being that nurse. <laughs> would you not just throw the clipboard and be like, I quit. I, I fucking quit. I quit. Yes, I may have lost the game. Yes, I may have set my crotch on fire, but I still have my honor. I mean, <laughs> you don't have your pubic hair, but you've got your honor. <clears throat> I... Your balls look like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> challenge <laughs> that's the important thing i guess uh, see this is this is going a little geeky right here right now but this is why the entire klingon species should be extinct because they're probably doing shit like this all the time for their honor <laughs> i didn't know klingons were big on dares yeah is like the double dog dare a big thing in Klingon society? Well, you question someone's honor and they got to do like, you doubted my honor. Oh, Jack, so Jackass started on Klingon. <laughs> so it's kind of like saying a man would be a pussy if he didn't do a dumb thing. Yeah. 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 They call them challenges. Good girl. Yeah. Uh... Good news, he'll never have to manscape. Well, <laughs> true. <laughs> I've never seen this. I've I've seen lots of dumb. We've seen lots of dumb things. I've never seen any. I've never seen anyone do this ever. This is amazing. Good. I, I never thought I would have to say setting your crotch on fire is a bad idea. <laughs> but we have to say this. Like there are certain combination of words <sighs> you never expect to have to say out loud. And that's one of them. What's wrong? Oh, you're oh making, no. He's making very many noises. What's wrong? Oh, buddy? no. Nobody loves me. He's making sad noises. I hear a dude talking about that orange cat, and I'm mad. Look, Grady, a dude set his dick on fire. <laughs> He's like, well, you had mine cut off, so whatever. That's not how that works. No, I know, but you know, I don't think the cat understands the intricacies of neuter surgery. Did they leave his little empty balls? I haven't looked. Cause Simba, oh, well, I guess he's a long haired cat. It's hard to tell. Cause Simba has his empty balls. And they're prominent. <laughs> that's okay. That's not a conversation we should really get off on, but. <laughs> kind of like there's this off topic and there's way off topic we're talking about our cat's nuts it's, you know I'll look at this 
Oh, baby. He's purring his head off. He's so happy. You remember when you, he first came home and you were like, he's afraid of me. He's never going to love me. He's just hiding in his carrier. Now look at him. Hey, oh, how do we learn this week? The first thing we learned is don't set your dick on fire. <clears throat> That's pretty fundamental. I don't know why this is a lesson. How is this a fucking le how is that? of all the things on earth when you first encounter fire I think that would go into your head like boy I would never want this near my genitals Yeah yeah There yeah. are probably many you know when the first human encountered fire I'm sure many thoughts went through their head but among those thoughts is I'm never sticking my dick in this Jesus Christ One of the places I used to work offered me a free Brazilian wax to help train the new esthetician. I had a bad eyebrow wax once and I was like, no, fuck you. But it's free. But, yeah, and that's, but it's free. And I'm like, it's a trainee with hot wax on my vulva. Free genital that's, flames. That's a holy trinity of no for me. Thank you very much. Um, we, I look at this just, a little toasted marshmallow. We've learned this week that once you got out of jail, you win. Yeah. Don't don't go back for seconds. It's not over. I mean, it could have been. Don't ask for a yeah. It could you were done. You were you were done. Um, we've learned white men can't wear pants. Um, <laughs> they can't jump. Can't wear pants. Can't do a whole bunch of things. Um. We've learned when someone offers you a free mask, the response is not to hulk out and start smashing shit. No. I mean, it's like, no, I have my mask. It's a fucking Walmart bag. That'll work. Just wear a fucking mask. It's not that hard. Um, we've learned that really hard to lie to the cops and bat your eyelashes when the shit's on video. I would never also maybe wait. don't pull guns on teenagers because your ass showed up at closing. Furball. <sighs> and finally, this week we've learned um, your tough guy rant is not quite convincing when your ch adult son is carrying your ass out of the <laughs> store like a sack of potatoes. Yeah. That's just like. Dad, Jesus Christ, do we have to put you in the home really early? And I mean, I want to point out, none of the kids were wearing masks either, so they're no, they're not fucking heroes. But at least they know enough. It's like, oh, get the fuck. They just didn't here. want Paw Paw to get his ha ass handed to him. <laughs> <laughs> they just didn't want to be humiliated. Son, take your dad home before he get his butt whooped again. <laughs> <laughs> 